guys, today is going to be a quick try out of the Menagerie Cosmetics Courtship Palette. This is so cute. I got this in the mail like an hour ago and of course I had to sit down and play with it. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's not really my color story normally, but I really like the brand so much that, and I wouldn't do this for any other brand, but honestly, I like the brand so much that I really want to support them. I want them to succeed. I want to see what they can do in the future. So I decided to purchase this. And I also got three of their lipsticks because I've heard so many good things. So these are the ones that I got. I will probably lip swatch these after I'm done trying out the palette so that you can see the colors. But for now, I think we should just get into playing with this little palette. I'm not going to tell you a bunch of information about this palette because I never do this in my first impressions. So I will link the website down below with a link to where you can purchase this. I do think it's sold out right now, but if you want to know like more information about the brand and the palette in general, I will just leave a link down below so you can go check it out. So I think we should start off by swatching this. So I'll just swatch this the way I always do it. I'll go from left to right, top to bottom. So we only have six shadows in this and I do want to try out most of these today, but we will see what we can come up with. So let's do some swatches. So I think the shadow swatched great. I did have a little bit of an issue with this last matte down here, but it did seem to build up very nicely. So, and the shimmers in this palette are just so stunning. I can't even, so I definitely want to work with both of those today because I need them on my eyes right now. So I'm going to clean up. I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot if I can find it. So this is my Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot. I'm going to put this on and then I will be right back. All right, we are primed and good to go. And I think for today's look, I'm going to do a smoky eye. I've been doing that a lot lately, but I just really like doing that, especially when some darker colors like this. So I'm going to start off by first taking Serenade and I'm going to put this into my crease. And I love how small and cute this palette is. Like I could actually use some mirror in this palette to do my makeup in. And now you get to look at a cute little flamingo. So I'm just going to be packing this on all over my crease now. And unless you're new to my channel, you know how much I love Menagerie Cosmetics. Uh, the Dragon Child palette that I have from them ended up being my favorite palette of 2018. So that says a lot. Not only do I like the formula that they come out with, but I also really love the color stories. I feel like it's such a unique brand. Saying that, I'm putting a kind of brown shade on my eye, but you know what I mean? Like their color stories are just so well thought out. And I find the shadows to be super pigmented, which is something that I love in shadows. I know some people like shadows to not be so pigmented and be more buildable, but I prefer shadows that are super pigmented from the get-go. And you can see when I put down these shadows that <laughs> there's quite a bit of a punch to them. So I really enjoy that with these. Something else that I really enjoy about these is that the pants are magnetic. So I think what I'm going to do, I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm going to depot all of these palettes. I'll probably keep the packaging though, just because they are so cute, but I really want to do a full palette just with Menagerie singles, because that way I can kind of mix and match them. It would be fun to do eye looks with like all of the palettes combined. So I think I'm gonna do that eventually when I get around to it, but it just hurts me so much to take shadows out of the palettes because the packaging is just, uh, it's just everything. So I'm not sure if I'll ever get around to doing that, but it's kind of something that I've been planning for a while. So we'll see when the new Whale Song palette comes out and I've had a chance to play with that one and like done all my videos. I will probably depot all of the palettes and then put them into a magnetic palette. So after having played with the Blue Blood palette now for a week straight, um, these blended like a dream. Uh, I was having a bit of a hard time with the Jeffree Star ones getting them to blend, but thankfully we're back to using blendable shadows, which feels so good. So I'm also going to take the shadow down to my lower lash line and really smoke that out. So I'm first packing it on with a bit of a smaller brush and then I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush after to start blending. And I like doing this just to make sure I get enough of the pigment down first before I go in with the bigger brush. Then just taking that same brush that I used in my crease and I'm going to start really blowing this out. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so this is looking nice now, and next I'm going to go in with Besties, which was this shimmer right here. It is so beautiful, and I'm just going to slap that all over my lid, and that's pretty much going to be it. I'm also going to put Keepsake, which is the gold shade, in my inner corner, and that's going to be all of the shadows that I want to put on my eyes. So I want to just keep it kind of simple and play with the colors that I'm really interested in in this palette, and then in my three looks one palette that will be coming up eventually, probably pretty soon, I will obviously play with the other colors as well, just to make sure that I know how all of them perform, but today this is what we are doing, so I need to find a brush, and I'm also going to spray this, and basically just put that all over my lid. Wow. Are you seeing this? I love Menagerie's new metallic formula. I think it is so good. Oh my god, it looks like liquid pink shadow on my eye. Like some kind of a pink metal liquid. It's just... It's so pretty. So I'm basically just putting this all over as well as kind of blending it into my crease, but not really. Just making sure that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm using my MAC 242 brush. So this shadow is just so stunning. You know how some shadows, like, yes, they're nice when you swatch them and when you see them in the pan, but when you put them on the eyes, they really transform into something very unique and different. That's how I feel about the shadow, and that's also how I feel about the shadow in the Feral palette, the new one that they put in. Uh, that shadow was a little bit harder to work with, and it was a bit more crumbly and, like, softer pressed. I don't know if it was a different formula, but I had a bit of a harder time working with this one, but this one... Oh my god, like, this just performed like a dream. I'm so happy right now. So I'm next going to take Keepsake, like I said, which was the gold shade, and I'm going to spray that and put it in my inner corner. And I'm also connecting it with the pink that I have on the lid. I'm wondering what would happen if I like mix these two together. I feel like that would create such a unique color, but Maybe we'll try that a different time. Okay, so I mean, this is all I'm going to do for the eye look. I do kind of want to do something a bit fun though in my waterline, I think. Maybe I want to do yellow. No, that's too bright. Not too bright, it's just like too cool tone. Maybe I'll do blue. Blue could be kind of nice. It kind of matches my headband. For some reason, I feel like that looks like dark blue, even though it really doesn't show up as dark blue at all. And my shirt is blue, so let's go with blue. Let's put this in. This is the LA Girl liner in the shade Electric. And then I'm going to go off camera, put on some liner mascara, and I'll be right back. And then we can start uh, lip swatching the lipsticks, because I really want to try the formula. I'm so excited. I've heard so many good things. So let me do this real quick, and I'll be you right back. Alright, so the eye look is all complete. I think this turned out so cute, and honestly, I don't say this lightly, but I think that shimmer shade on the lid is probably my favorite shade that I've tried thus far this year. I'm just obsessed. I think that looks so beautiful. So just to finish this off, I'm going to take my Milk Makeup Stamp. Uh, this is like the heart one, and I'm going to put two, like one under each eye, because I just think that would be cute, you know? And I'm gonna get more use out of these. I keep forgetting about them, so I'm going to put them like right in front of me so I know where they are because I just like these, so let me concentrate. Oh no, it's smeared. Why do I do this? I'm so bad at this. Now I have to do the same on the other eye. All right, well, I mean, I can't really fix this now, so I don't really know how else to make them even other than trying to make another line like right underneath here. So that's one thing that's really annoying about these stamps is that when you don't stamp them on like a very smooth surface, sometimes when you press too hard, like the circle around the stamp will kind of transfer onto your skin. So yeah, this didn't turn out perfect, but I'm going to try to fix this a little bit. So I'm just going to take my liner and just kind of make that little ring here. Just so at least it looks even on both sides. I mean, it's not great, but it's just gonna have to do, you know, sometimes you mess up 
and you can't fix it because then you mess up the rest of your makeup. So that's one of the risks with these stamps, like I said, but it's fine. It's still like really cute. So let's get into these lipsticks now. And the shades that I got was Leo, Starfish, and Dorian, I think they're called. So let's see, which one do I want to wear? I'm probably going to want to wear probably gonna want to wear this one so I'll do this one last as Leo so I guess let's start off with the new one which is called Dorian and let me see if I can show you a hand swatch as well here so this is Dorian so this is such a unique shade I don't think I have anything like this it's kind of like a cool toned gray mauve with some brown. I don't even know how to explain this, but it's really, really cool and different. I like this a lot. I don't like it with this look, so that's why I wanted to kind of put this on first. So this was Dorian, so let me take this off and then we can do Starfish, which is the bright pink purple one. I'm excited about this one. So I feel like the consistency on this one is a little bit wetter than the first one that I tried, but it's really hard to say when you just get lipsticks in the mail, especially with traveling and stuff, and it's really hot out here, so I kind of need them to like settle and be like room temperature for a while to really know how I feel about the different formulas, but let's try this on the lips. That is really pretty. So this is absolutely beautiful. That went on really smoothly and opaquely and this was only one layer. So it's really hard to find a lipstick in this shade that's a good formula I've found. Now obviously I don't know what exactly this formula is going to be like because it's my first time trying it. But I mean upon first application it went on like I said like a dream and it's really really nice. So I'm really excited about these lipsticks so far. So let me take this off again and then we can do the last one if I can find this because I can never find anything. So I feel like this one was harder to remove for whatever reason and it seemed like it dried down a little bit quicker. So all of these are matte, obviously long lasting lipsticks, which is what I prefer. So let's do the last one now, which is like a very interesting kind of poopy orange. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good way to explain it, but this one is called Leo. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. So it's like a dark orange. It's like a mix between an orange and a poopy brown. <laughs> so let's see if this is going to go with the look. It might not go with it at all. And I don't know exactly why I thought this would. But I'm going to put it on and we'll find out. Alright, so I don't think this goes with my look at all, but I really do like the shade of this lipstick. That is so unique. I feel like with some kind of warm tone greens, this would look beautiful. Um, I think I'm going to take this off though and find something else to put on just because I don't really want to wear this with this look. So let me take this off, find a different lipstick. So now at least we've tried them all. So this last one was called Leo. So let me remove this real quick. Alright, so instead I'm going to put on my Colourpop Lippy Sticks in the shade O Snap because I feel like this is going to go a little bit better with this look. Yeah, I definitely think this goes with it a lot better. So I think that is going to be the end of this video. So, I mean, to sum up, I don't really have a lot of thoughts other than I really like it so far. I have nothing to complain about. I think the colors in these are beautiful. I think a lot of people are going to like this color scheme. It's nice and neutral with still a pop of this pink, which is just so beautiful. And yeah, like I said, I'll also do a 3 looks one palette with this coming up. I don't know if I'm going to use this only or if I'm going to allow myself to pull in some other shadows just because this is not really my cup of tea and I don't really have any interest in doing three neutral looks in a row. So I'm going to have to think about that. Let me know down below what you think if I should be able to pull in another shadow or two to kind of make this eyeshadow palette pop because that is more my style and I feel like, you know, I would feel more comfortable doing that. So yeah. That's going to sum up today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, my first look with this palette. I had a good time working with it. I think this was so fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.